holding area, known as the West Wing, is where we quarantine new animals and treat sick ones at the Oregon Sea Grant Operated Visitor Center at the Hatfield Marine Science Center. Quarantining is necessary to prevent disease in the wild from being introduced into our tanks. It also gives our animals time to acclimate to their new environment. We receive assistance from Dr. Tim Miller Morgan, an aquatic veterinarian who oversees Oregon Sea Grant's aquatic animal health program. The West Wing is also where we keep animals that Dr. Tim Miller Morgan uses for teaching purposes at Oregon State University's College of Veterinary Medicine and in the Aquarium Science Program at Oregon Coast Community College. Students learn to examine these animals, some of which have been donated. They also learn to diagnose and treat diseases. We also raise baby fish such as shiner perch and pipefish in the west wing, so we can later put them on display and also avoid collecting them from the wild. When shiner perch are born, they are big enough to eat the same foods that we feed the adults. Baby pipefish, on the other hand, are much smaller and require extremely tiny live foods. So in the west wing, we grow brine shrimp and rotifers, two microscopic types of zooplankton that we feed algae, which are full of nutrients. After a mysterious disease began decimating sea stars along the Oregon coast in 2014, we built a tank in the West Wing to give our sea stars a safe refuge. Our tanks on public display in the visitor center get their water from Yaquina Bay. So if there's a problem with the water, like temperature fluctuations or the presence of disease, those problems can enter the tanks and potentially harm the animals. However, the tank in the West Wing area has a closed recirculating filtration and chilling system, which keeps the water self-contained, clean, and at a constant temperature. We test the water quality in the tank weekly and observe the sea stars in it daily. Whenever we hear that sea stars in the Yaquina Bay are dying, or if we see signs of stress in our own population on display, we transfer our sea stars out of our public exhibits to this tank in the back. This keeps them from being exposed to the water in the bay and it allows them to build up their immune systems. Once water conditions appear steady, we put them back on display. As you can see at the visitor center, the health of our animals comes first.